how did they get that ship inside that bottle? That's what I always ask myself when I see one of these. Recently I had an empty whiskey bottle laying around and so I decided to create my own ship in bottle. My goals were simple, I wanted to make this the easiest boat in bottle experience ever and the ship had to be entirely 3D printed. I ended up with a fun design that contains a little mechanism so you can very easily insert and unfold the ship inside the bottle. How it all works I will show you and as always I am sharing my files so if you also have an empty bottle laying around I would say join me in this episode of Print Challenge. So I started this project by looking up some images of pirate ships uh, just to get some reference pictures and to study the overall shape and proportions the amount of sails and masts and so on and I also watched this tutorial from Impensia on modeling a pirate ship in Blender. I then modeled my own ship and this is what it ended up looking like and I'm personally happy with the outcome. I also measured my bottle and modeled it as well. Uh, important to note is that the bottle should have an opening diameter of at least 20 millimeters. Now the most challenging part of this design was definitely integrating the mechanism that allows the boat to become a lot smaller to fit through the bottleneck. This required a few more iterations than I expected. Let me explain how the mechanism works. We basically have a slider that flips the three masts simultaneously when it is pushed. It's really simple, which it also needs to be because the ship is really small and it would be difficult to print gears at this scale. One nice thing about the mechanism is that once the masts are up, they won't fall down easily. They are basically locked in a vertical position. So let's print this little ship. Okay, so the first thing I did was to paint the ship in a brown color because I didn't have any wood filament laying around. But I do enjoy how it looks after painting it. Uh, the grey color from the filament still shows up here and there and I actually like that. Now let me show you how to build it together. First we take the masts and one by one we insert them through the bottom. The tallest one goes in the middle, the short one in the back and the remaining one in the front. And you should hear a little click when you insert the mast in the correct spot. Now we insert the slider, but make sure all the masts are in a vertical position. It is probably the easiest to hold the ship upside down. At this point you should pull the slider a bit back and rotate all the masts forward. Now test the mechanism by pushing the slider. This could be difficult the first time, but after a few times the mechanism should be really easy to operate. If necessary, you can use some sanding paper on the slider to make sure it all operates smoothly. Okay, now it's time for the sails. Remove the little brims first and after this you simply slide the sails over the masts one by one. Pay attention to the layout of the sails on the print plate. They are ordered with each mast and the widest sail is always at the bottom. And that's it, now we're going to insert the boat in the bottle. Of course you need to have the boat in the folded configuration. Uh, we are going to insert it with the back side of the ship going in first. Okay, now you probably wonder how we are going to unfold the ship. Well, this may sound a bit stupid, but I had no idea how to do this as well. Because I decided to solve this problem later on. I knew that I probably had to create some kind of tool, something with a trigger or button to push the slider on the ship. But luckily I realized it was easier than I originally thought. 
You see, if we push the ship against a flat surface, like in this case a wall, then we can easily unfold the ship again. So in other words, I had to design a simple stick to push the ship against the back of the bottle. And this is what I came up with. I had to divide the stick in two parts to fit it on the build plate. After that, you simply snap both parts together, like this. Okay, now let's unfold the ship. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I bet most people would already be pretty impressed and wonder how that ship got so far in that bottle, without ropes or other common use techniques. But I want to add just some extra polish by adding the sea. I still had this clear blue resin laying around from another project and I created this little funnel so I can easily pour in the resin. I just hope it won't flip or move the ship. But hey, let's try it. Okay, this really makes it look fantastic. And as an added bonus, the ship is now locked in this position and the mechanism is hidden, so the illusion is complete. By the way, I cured the resin by placing it for 60 seconds on my resin printer. And with that I call this challenge complete. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if so please consider subscribing. A uh, link to the files will be in the description. If you decide to make it, please uh, share it on printables or thingiverse. And uh, also if you have another challenge for me, let me know in the comments. I will see you on the next episode, because there are always more challenges waiting for us. Bye!